And that's completely plugged. Ah, all right, a little minor humor. Presidential suite, penthouse. All righty then. And dos equis. All right, continuing right along. Yeah, things have opened up, so now I can at least stand. It's still pretty low. Yeah, there we got. Looks like we got a cross cut off to the right. And the main haulage tunnel. Another, it's like another cross cut to something possibly collapsed. Caved, not sure yet. Okay. And we have another cross cut and a purple, I'm guessing that's a mylar balloon. Okay. Okay, number five bat. Don't know what that means. Be more minor humor. Oh yeah, that's plugged up. And oh, that's nice. We have a swastika. You dirty rat. You won't take me alive, copper. You live in a rat hole. Yada yada yada. Okay. So people being chodes. So this, I'm guessing, is has some connection to the circus given the uh, plant life in here. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's, well, maybe not to the surface, but uh, I feel cold air coming in, so it probably is connected to the surface. All right. Uh, I think so, because I don't feel it blowing on my face. I think this is actually the face right here of mine. Yeah. Okay, so that's as far back as it goes, just a few hundred feet. Let's check out those cross cuts. It was drunk, Mike. It's clearing the chute. Will he go up there? Will he stay down here? you're fat or something you can't fit but like back my back head first Should you, pull back? you don't think you can go on your belly I just don't know if I want to I don't know oh pants. well it's... okay hmm. all right well junk Mike's gone right. he's gone up the chute now you know how ore feels. Super fun. Tell us what you see, Drunk Mike. I see a large, very large cavern built out area. Very, very large. There's a floor up here that I'm going to attempt to reach. All right. Stay away from this side. Okay. And then just watch out for little rocks. Two, All right. Once I get up here. Back out of the way here. All righty. Can you see daylight? Yeah, I don't, I don't feel hair. Is this the one that has the hair? It sure seems like it does. Yeah, I don't really feel like cool air coming in. Hmm. 
I still feel air moving from somewhere. And I don't think that there's... There's definitely air coming down the chute. Okay, maybe I can't tell because it's a big pocket. Could be. Uh, I'm going to try to get further up. All right, I'm going to stop recording. So a mic's up yonder. I'm going to take a look down this drift, right, or this cross cut here, and uh, see what we can see. Because while he was up there, stuff started coming out that ore chute. And that ore chute is not even attached to the same stove as far as I can tell. But it must be, or somehow it must be, so let's see. Is it clogged? Ah, no, that one's open too. Oh, wow. Hello. Yeah, you're kicking stuff down out of this ore chute now. Okay, I splashed up. <laughs> That's okay, you all right? Yeah. All right. This, this ore chute over here, yeah. if you can navigate the, the steel sheet, without, you know, cutting yourself, this one might be easier for you to get out. I can't, there's a, about a six foot drop. Oh, okay. All right, so we'll continue on down this way briefly. He's negotiating his way through there. And let's see, another wire spool. And then continues on. Let's just check this out real quick. It looks like it ends right up here. And is it? Maybe not. Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of wire spools in here. I think that's the face of this little cut. Yeah. Okay. So we've seen that. And this is actually really bad ground anyway. I can't hear any reverberation. All the mines that we've been in so far, the primary commodity, at least for which they were originally mined, mercury. And I've learned something today, or on this trip anyway. I don't like mercury mines because they're basically built in bad ground. Every single mercury mine I've ever been to, I'm realizing, is in bad ground. And, well, looky there. That is the foreleg of either a deer or an antelope. I don't know which. Hmm, interesting how it's sitting right there too. Probably something killed it and then dragged in bits and pieces for scraps. All right, so wow, this opens up into even more stuff. This is more extensive than I thought. So it looks like it cuts back that way. And then, oh wow. That pillar is really cool. And then it looks like it continues on that way. Another pillar right here. And yeah, just dug out a little bit up there. Wow. This is amazing. This is really far. I'm going to head back out to where Mike should shortly be emerging. So I've recovered drunk Mike. They're, what? Oh, gee, oh, is that what those are? Jeans? Overalls. Oh, okay. They are Levi's. They're lean. Mm, off brand. Too bad. Okay. Dug this out, something good. These pillars are kind of cool.
bug out. And hmm. Hmm. that might be the face right there on this one. That's the face. It's the uh, hanging wall right there. And this is really, really crumbly ground. Yeah. The dead ends right up there. Save you a walk. Now you're tired. All right, so from that big room, now we got this one. Pocket dug out of here. And we're back into midget mine territory. More crappy ground. Everything's really muffled now. more. Alright, I'm going to wait for Mike to catch up. And on hard we go. Oh, you did? That's cool. dug out, I think. I guess. Yeah, it looks like they just dug dug something out right there. Let's see. I think there's some cinnabar on the wall over here. Yeah. So that's the mercury ore. 